So what if I told you that there was a Microsoft Office competitor that was better than Microsoft Office, works exceptionally well on empowered Macs, and is absolutely free? Let me talk to you about only Office for Mac. Let's get into it. So just to give you a quick little rundown of what OnlyOffice is, they started as a Linux-based open source kind of productivity suite. So pretty much for those people running Linux-based operating systems that wanted to be able to kind of mix and match their productivity suites, be able to customize it however they see fit. And to this day, you can still do that. You can still download Docker, run it in a VM, be able to kind of customize you know, your word processor and your PowerPoint presentation processor the way that you see fit. But then there's also the user-friendly version, which is pretty much the off-the-shelf plug-and-play version, which is the one that I'm going to be talking about. And for all intents and purposes, it's pretty much the same exact thing, whether you run it as a user-friendly version built for macOS or if you run the Linux-based version. But let's get into exactly what you get with OnlyOffice because, again, it's absolutely free. And being able to have such a strong and powerful tool be free that's also inside of that Microsoft ecosystem where you can export in PBT and export in docx files is a great tool to have. So let's get right into it. All right, everybody, so let's get right into this video. And the first thing I do want to mention is how to actually install OnlyOffice onto your MacBook. So I am running an M2 MacBook Air here, but it can run with pretty much any MacBook or also any Windows computer and, of course, any Linux-based operating systems. But what I like about the website, this is the actual homepage itself. It's very self-explanatory, very easy to see what you're getting yourself into. Run your private Office with OnlyOffice, and you can see that you do have your document editor, your spreadsheet editor, presentation editor, a PDF reader. So it's pretty much an all-in-one tool. And again, I cannot keep reiterating enough just how awesome it is that this is completely free. So if you go into the pricing real quick, just to get an idea, the only options you have are for DocSpace and Doc Enterprise. So the normal product, which is the regular Docs, which is what we're gonna get into, is absolutely free. Another cool thing you can do is actually see it in action. So if you don't wanna put it on your computer for whatever reason, you can actually just scroll down here and you get a live actual editable version of what you're getting yourself into. You can scroll through here and let me move this up a little bit, but you can actually see each one in action. If you want to check out the edit XLS, the edit a PowerPoint as well. So very cool, very self-explanatory of what you're getting yourself into, but all you have to do to actually download it is like I said, go to get it now and then figure out which version you're going to need. And then to actually get it installed, just go to products, go to for desktop, and then you're going to go and press download now. Again, it's the free only office app and then you're going to figure out which one you need. So for instance, for me, I have Mac OS 10.12 or higher and I'm using the Apple chip. So click on that and it'll start downloading. Again, it works with older ones as well, even if you do have an Intel chip. Obviously, it works with Windows 11 through Windows XP, even Windows Vista. So that is only Office. Now that we have it installed, let's see what it's all about because it does act a little bit differently than, let's say, your average document editor or things like that. So I'm going to close out of it completely. We're going to reopen it up together. So if I go into here, let's go and open up only Office. I'm going to press check automatically. So normally it's going to check for me at all times, but you can see that this is the actual dashboard itself. So it's kind of easy to understand. You have your four main document styles. So you have your document, which is your Word equivalent, spreadsheets, which is your Excel equivalent, presentation, which is PowerPoint, and then form templates, which is your form editor as well. You also have the ability to connect to cloud. So I am actually connected to a cloud already, which is, I'm probably gonna make a separate video. If you guys enjoy this video and it gets at least 500 likes, we'll do a whole video on how Docspaces work because that is a brand new kind of collaboration software to compete with things like Google Drive and Google Docs. And I absolutely love it. I've been using it a lot lately, but again, I'll make a completely separate video on that. But if you do wanna open up a brand new document, let's go into documents and you can see that it opens up inside of this kind of little cell here. So inside of this actual window, it's gonna open up completely, full screen it, and then like you see, it's a very familiar actual interface. So it kind of looks a little bit retro style and I really like that about it. It kind of makes you feel like you're back in the day, but it still has all the functionality and features that you have today with Microsoft Word. But you can see that you have your regular home, you have your insert, your layout, your references, you have all of your different kind of headings and your bullet styles and your editing tools that you would need. So what I wanna actually do is open up a sample document right here to actually show you guys the ins and outs of the entire documentation. So like I said, your normal editing style formats are right here. So you have your cut, copy, paste, you have your actual formatting here in terms of font, font size, 
being light at bullets, numbered bullets, indentations, like lot paragraph spacing, erasers, you know, being able to indent and kind of move everything where you want. But you can see that all your shortcuts work as well. So if I want to control X this, I can do that. Control V it to paste it back on there. I can control A to highlight everything and then delete it all if I want to. Control Z to undo that. So all of your normal shortcuts for the most part work on here. And it's very, very familiar. Like if you're used to Microsoft Word, this is going to be such an easy transition for you. It's unbelievable. But you can see that you have your insert portion here. So you can insert page breaks, blank page. So if I want to insert a blank page right here, you can see that I kind of added it in the middle there. You can insert images from file, from URL, insert charts if you want to, insert shapes. If I want to draw a square here, I can do that, write in it, whatever I want. So again, very easy to use, very self-explanatory. Again, if you're used to Microsoft Word, then this is going to be a no-brainer in terms of a transition. There's going to be very little to no learning curve whatsoever. You also have the ability to add references, so add a table of contents if you want. It's very easy to do. As you can see, I'm adding it inside of this actual square, which is kind of weird. If I highlight everything, press bold, I can bold it all. I can italicize it all if I want to as well. Very easy to use. You can add hyperlinks. You can collaborate on it, which is great to see. You can add protection. So if you want to encrypt this file, you can add a password to it. By all means, let's say if you have something that's kind of sensitive, you can do that. You can actually view these files in different formats. So you can actually increase the size. So my shortcut to increase it, to decrease the size of it also works extremely well. And then you have plugins. So right built into here, you can add macros. So with OCR, you can maybe download an actual newspaper clipping or a newspaper article, something that is an actual text format and turn it into an editable document. You can add YouTube videos in here. You can add embed YouTube videos. You can send via email. You can highlight the code. Google Translator is built into this. So all great tools inside of this only Office Word editor, which I love to see. And again, completely free to use. But now the biggest portion of this is actually being able to save it how you want to. So if I want to actually save this, go into file, save as, you can export this however you want. So this is the bread and butter of it. And this is what makes it so unique compared to kind of the rest of the competition, which is you can actually export it and treat it like a regular document, right? So you can export as a docx, a docxf, an O form, which is great document. So a D a dot X, a PDF, a file as well, even whatever this Moby pocket ebook. So an ebook file format, which is cool to see. So you can do that however you see fit. And then let's say if you go out to your desktop, you have your only office sample document here, you can double click it or you can open with, and you can see that it's going to open with Microsoft word if you want to. So if I open it with Microsoft word, I kind of want to see what the format looks like when I do open it there. And you can see it's exactly how I left it before, right? All this weird stuff that I added in here, easily editable inside of the actual document, inside of Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word. I'm gonna Apple Q that, I'm gonna press don't save, but I'm gonna actually open this with only Office again. And you can see that it pops up just how I left it. So again, only Office and Microsoft Word editor, absolutely amazing. And just to kind of let you guys know that yes, it is in this kind of tabbed only format, which I, you know, depending on who you are, you might like it, you might not like it, but you can open multiple documents. So if you want to open multiple of these documents and start kind of typing away here and have multiple of them open, and then if I want to control C and move that information over here, I can also do that as well. So you aren't limited to just having one open, of course, I just wanted to make that clear, even though it is in this tab format. But now let's look at something like a spreadsheet. So if I open up this spreadsheet right here, which is a sample spreadsheet again, now this is where it's absolutely amazing. Now I know that there's a lot of Microsoft Excel power users out there that use pivot tables and use macros and use VBAs and like to import into Power BI. You can do all of that with this Microsoft Excel equivalent. So this is only Office spreadsheet and it's great. So you have everything that you can see right here. So I'm going to control minimize this a little bit, but it works just like you would any other doc. So if I want to, let's say, actually add up some of these, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So if I want to add up just a couple of them, you know, this all works. So if you have, let's say equals a sum, you can do your variables. Let's say I only want to add up this top section here. We're going to close that up, press enter, and you can see that's 135. And if I double click on it, it shows you what I am highlighting and I can grab this and it'll show you what I am highlighting. You have the sum up here and everything's exactly like Microsoft Excel. It is absolutely absurd how similar it is. And I absolutely think this is amazing. Being able to give a free tool to people that don't want to spend that eight to $20 a month on a Microsoft license is absolutely surreal. But you have your home section here, which is very self-explanatory, very familiar. You have your insert section so you can add images and shapes and text boxes and charts. And you can even add, let's say, a chart from your, or you can add it into your only office document, or you can add it into your presentation as well from only office, similar to how you would do it with the Microsoft suite of products. So very easy to use. You can change your layout, your margins, your orientation. You have your whole formulas tab here. So you have an infinite number of formulas to play with. 
you have pivot tables built into here. You have your data set information and all your tools, your collaboration tools. You can also protect this and encrypt it. You can add signatures and then you have your plugins, right? You have the same plugins that you had before. You have a thesaurus, you know, your YouTube, your translator, your code highlighter. And again, if you want to file, save as, you can export this as an XLS, as an XLT, as an ODS, as a CSV as well, even as a PDF if you want to. So overall, I'm a big fan of what they've been able to do here, especially again, I'm gonna keep reiterating this. This is absolutely free, no catch whatsoever, no in-app purchases, definitely worth checking out if you're somebody that wants to try it out. You know, maybe you're a student that doesn't wanna spend the money on Microsoft Office, or maybe you're in the corporate world, or maybe you're a solopreneur that needs to communicate with people that use Microsoft Office, but don't wanna spend the money on it, this is a great solution. And now I'm gonna open up this right here. So this is an OnlyOffice document. I'm gonna open it with OnlyOffice. And now this is the presentation. So this is exactly what it sounds like, right? You have you have all your different presentation formats, how they throw out a challenge, your Native Americans, everything works exceptionally well, exactly like Microsoft PowerPoint, but this is just only Office presentation. So this is what they offer and this is how it's being able to be used. You have your normal tabs up here, so you have your home to edit all your text, your, you can insert whatever you want, you have your transitions tab here, so you can transition and kind of create whatever you want with your presentation. You can animate everything, you can again collaborate on it, you can encrypt it just like the other ones. You can view and then you can add your plugin. So if, let's say I want to go home and if I want to actually play this, play a slideshow. And now you can see that it's moving however I want it to move, which is great to see. So that's good to go. You can press escape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start one from scratch. Let's open up a presentation. If I want to work off of a template, let's use this one. We'll write hello, sub. I can add a new slide here with my template slide. So if I wanna do one of these, or if I wanna maybe add a side-by-side -side and add a picture. So if I wanna add in a picture here, I can do that too. I can make this smaller. Kind of put it right in the middle if I want to. You have your margin lines popping up, which is great to see right in the dead center. And you can see that it works totally fine. And I can control C, add it over here if I want to. Let's add it again to here, move this over, make it a little bit smaller. I've just been extremely impressed with all the offerings that they have. And then I haven't even mentioned this little side menu over here. So you have the ability to change your background. You can kind of change the shape. So this is like your formatting bar. So being able to kind of crop everything so I can rotate this to 90 degrees, 180 degrees, flip it, and just do what I need to do with each one of these. So if I want to maybe grab here, now I have the ability to then go into this section here and change the style of it, change the formatting of it, be able to select what data I want to select. So overall, it's just a great and easy way to use kind of this only office ecosystem that's completely free and it gives you an option that you don't have to pay for. Like this presentation, you can then grab this file, save it as a regular PPT, a PPTX. So whatever you see fit and whatever you need to present it to and whatever format you need it in, you can now get that done. But that is only office in a nutshell. Let's get out of this view and finish up this video. So that was only office for Mac in a nutshell, everybody. And like you saw, it's a pretty robust ecosystem. It has everything you need from the word editor to that presentation editor to the number slash Excel editor. It has fillable forms as well that you can work off. There's actually now the new doc spaces, which is their cloud platform, which again, all this stuff is absolutely free, which is absolutely mind boggling. There are no in-app purchases. The only time that you would need to upgrade to an actual paid plan is if you work maybe for a company or if you're working with way bigger files that kind of cross into that five, 10, 15 gigabyte file format. But outside of that, for the everyday user, the absolutely free version is gonna be more than enough. When they need to be able to use Microsoft Office files, or maybe it's that presentation you're doing for, or maybe it's for a professional setting where you gotta give a presentation and you don't wanna actually pay for that PowerPoint, but you can use a PPT export to get that presentation to the people that need to get it. So overall, only Office, I just wanna bring some light to it because being an absolutely free platform and giving you guys the tools to you know get everything that you need done overall, this is great to have. So I will link it down below. So definitely check it out if you're looking for something like that, a Microsoft Office alternative, or maybe even an iWork Suite alternative or a Google Docs alternative, something like that. Definitely worth a try but that's gonna do it for this video everybody if you made it to the end leave a dolphin in the comments down below so i know you made it to the end and big shout out to chris searly for watching our last video if you guys want to be mentioned in our next video leave a comment in this video to make sure that you guys get a chance to be featured in the next one but that's gonna do it if you guys want to watch more mac os ios or ipad os videos click on one of these right here and until next time i'm fernando and i'm out of here everybody peace